Yes, it's yes, yay. Wow. My story of the set list says TBA, uh, not because it's Theodore Bear Anstead, but because I really couldn't decide what to do. And then I remembered that there is an event that all you need to do on Thursday night is go like this. And you'll see. After dark. And so I wrote this story in honor of it. At the center of the universe is a dwelling that was, is, and ever shall be. And in that dwelling is all the wisdom of all the worlds in the universe. The heart of this dwelling is a library that reaches as high and as wide and as deep as the knowledge and imagination of all beings who were, who are, and who ever shall be. And it's here that young gods and godlings of all the religions of all the universe come to learn, to gain wisdom, to gain patience, and most of all, to gain manners. Two of these godlings, most beloved, were dear friends. One was a light, laughing creature named Aryanrod. She was all silver in the sunlight, and her laughter would echo wherever she went. And her boon companion was a little dark, swarthy fellow, brown eyes, called Anu. Now, Aryanrod was sweet and loved by all. Anun was loved and tolerated by most, for he had a party trick. His party trick was to raise things up and make them work, which is lovely if you're entertaining, but terrible at dinner when it's the place of mashed potatoes. <laughs> so one day, the two friends were bored, and so they went into the library, and they were poking here and poking there, as children often do. And Anu picked up a piece of parchment and made it into a ball and did his party trick. He flipped it up and started to spin it, and then he moved it over the great table. Well, that was pretty amusing. And so Arya and Rob was like, okay, do this, do that. Do this, and soon there were all these objects rotating around this little whirling piece of paper, which was going faster and faster, and so it started to light up. And they were going, oh look, and having fun. And the great goddess came in, looked at the table, and went, What have you done? They said, Well, we'll undo it. We'll undo it, ma'am. Honest. And she said, you can't. You just created a universe. You created life. You must be punished. You, too, will dust every book in this library before dinner. Well, they started. They reached a book down. They dusted off, put it back up. Next one, reach it down, dust it, put it back up. And then Anu had an idea. He brought it down and went, and all the dust flew off. Now, nobody here does that, right? Okay. And it was another one. And then Aryanrod noticed if she went like this with the ball, took it down, and went towards their little world on the table. All these sparks were coming. And soon it became a game. They would reach a book down and, and sparks just shattered all over. And now that they are both grown, and she is in charge of light and he of darkness, they don't see each other too often, except those times of the year when light and dark change. And at those times, because of the fun they had, they meet in the library and they dust the books. Hmm. And there's their little world. And every time 
that they go like this, the same thing happens. I want you to walk with me over to the battlefield. Thursday night, clear skies, you look up and see that marvelous meteor light show that happens every year. And when you see the lights race across the sky, you'll know that in the great dwelling that was, is, and ever shall be, in the great library, Aryan Rod has pulled a book off of the shelf and gone. Thank you.